हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू अक्षर आईटी फाउंडेशन क्लासेस आई एम योर केमिस्ट्री फैकल्टी एस मोहन सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द नॉम एंड क्लेचर राइट सो नॉम एंड क्लेचर वी आर डिस्कस लाइक हाउ टू गिव द नेम्स टू द सिंपल हाइड्रोकार्बन विदउट अ फंक्शनल ग्रुप राइट okay so once let's check so here students you try to give the name to these compounds so here i'm taking from your material exercise question somewhere here and there i'll take the questions okay so right for example if i'll write the ch3 ch2 ch2 CH two, one two three four, CH, CH three, CH three. Okay. So students, come on, tell now. What is the name of this uh, structure? Compound. As I said, the rules. What is the first rule? First, select the longest chain. Right. So longest chain is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. If you count from here also, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six carbons is a hex, right? So right, hex. Okay. And with all the carbons, what is there? Single bond is there. So that is in hexane, right? Now this part is over. this part is done okay but here you see here one branch is there so this branch ch3 is called what methyl now methyl is attached from here if you count it is attached to the fifth carbon from here you count it is attached to the second carbon so now what can i write five methyl hexane or two methyl hexane good two methyl hexane okay two methyl hexane okay very good so here this is a in your material that question and similarly for example let's take uh, one more compound okay let's practice so here we have ch3 ch ch ch3 and here we have c2h5 students here c2h5 c2h5 now what the name you can give to this one yes what name can give to this one yeah second so here c students here c2h5 is there okay so as of writing this one what you do is okay the same structure how can i write now see here this ch3 again ch next ch ch3 right now here you see here yes c2h5 is there instead of writing c2h5 for the second carbon what i do c2h5 i write like this ch2 ch3 can i write like this okay so two carbons two carbons five hydrogens two plus three five hydrogens so this part i am writing like this is this right chalo now here also on c2h5 is there so this also i write the same thing okay ch2 ch3 okay so now students here if you directly if you check this one so 1 2 3 4 One, two, three, four. How are you going? So here, longest chain we will be getting here what a but four. Four means four means what a butane. But this is wrong. Why? Because if you see here, here if you see here also it will be four. But I will go okay in this manner. I will give like one here, two here, three here, four here, five here, six here. So see ya. Like this I am coming. So here six. Uh, this is the longest chain now. Okay. So longest chain is six contains six. If you, even if you count like this also, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
okay so that is six carbons so that is hex okay in between all single bonds are there in all right so this is hexane now here this is our longest chain but here for third carbon there is one methyl is there this is called methyl for the fourth carbon methyl is there third and fourth so three and four if i count from here one two three again it becomes three four five six same so here two methyls are there one is for third carbon one is for fourth carbon so two methyls are there two is called a dimethyl okay so this is dimethyl okay so where the two carbons are attached one for two methyls are attached to one third carbon to the fourth carbon so i can write three comma four dimethyl hexane so this is a answer for this question so students here if anywhere like this c2 h5 is there you don't directly write like this c2 h5 you split it uh, this c2 h5 into ch2 ch3 okay so in this way you'll get the correct answer right and uh, one more to try one more we try what is that here acha here eighth one let's see the eighth one ch3 ch2 ch ch2 ch3 and it is given bromine bro br okay now what's the name of this one come and check fast 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 what's the name so here first you select the longest chain longest chain is what 1 2 3 4 five 1 2 3 4 5 even if you count from here 1 2 3 4 five so five is spent so spent okay all single bonds are there in now bromine is there okay So now bromine is attached to which carbon? One, two, three. If I count from here, I'm getting three. If I count from here, one, two, three. So I'm here. I'm getting three only. Okay. So then this is halogen. So this will be given as a prefix. So we can write a three bromo, three bromo pentane. Okay. So this is a IUPAC name of this one. Okay. So students like this, sir, you can give the name to this uh, carbon compounds. You practice like this all the carbon compounds. today so this all till yesterday and today what i discussed here this all simple consist of um, hydrocarbons but not uh, functional groups okay so today let us see with the functional group that is uh, synopsis 5 you can see there are um, with the functional groups are there nomenclature of compounds contained in the functional group this is very important okay nomenclature of compounds compounds uh, containing functional groups so students already we discussed about the functional group i said uh, while the second synopsis i gave a list of the functional groups like uh, alcohol aldehydes ketones ethers esters cyanides isocyanides like this one list is given okay so in the ppt there was list was given even in your material if you have a material once you can see that uh, chart of um, functional group in the page number 36 okay in the page number 36 okay you can see in your material that page number 36 there is a table is there class of compounds functional group secondary suffix general formula are you back name okay so these are all are there once if you have material open the page number 36 okay so in this the first one is see alcohol can you see the first one first one in the page number 36 what is given here alcohol is given okay so first we discuss about the alcohol only okay first you see alcohol it is given you see in your page number 36 alcohol and what is the functional group uh, for alcohol the oh will be added and what is the secondary suffix uh, secondary suffix will be given as all ol 
and next general formula is what term R O H. Okay, and last one what is given here? Are pack name alkanol? Alkanol. Okay, so this is about the alcohol. Now we'll discuss in detail about the alcohol. Okay, so see students here alcohols. Alcohol is a functional group. Okay. In which uh, one hydrogen is replaced by the group of atoms that is called OH. Okay, when OH is replaced, okay, uh, replaced uh, in the place of hydrogen, then this forms the uh, alcohol groups. Okay, so here R means what? Uh, R is alkyl group. R is what? Uh, alkyl group. What is uh, alkyl group? Already said that alkenes from the alkenes. If you remove one hydrogen. For example, see methane is there. Okay, I'm writing here methane CH4. This is alkene. If you remove one hydrogen from this one, what happens? CH3. So one hydrogen is removed. So that place is vacant. If that place is occupied by OH, then this is called alcohol. So this is methane and alcohol. From the methane, last E is removed and all is added. Okay. So now see. Um, so that is this one. Now you can see here uh, the general formula of al uh, alcohol. Okay, the general formula. Okay, general formula is equal to CnH2n plus one OH. Okay, so this is a general formula, right? How did you get this one? See, for example, alkanes. You know what are the formula of alkane? Alkane is uh, C N H two N plus two, right? So two N plus two. From this we are removing one hydrogen. So when we remove one hydrogen, then it becomes what C N H two N plus two is there. So it becomes one. Okay, because we are removing one hydrogen, and that place is occupied with this O H. Okay, so O H. So this is the general formula of a alcohol this is a general this is alkene and this is a general formula of alcohol okay alcohol clear so this is a alcohol and the common name of the monohydric alcohol is alkyl alcohol okay so for example see here so here alcohol so alcohol is water so for example uh, methane so for example see here alkene alkene example is what methane for example okay first member of alkene is what methane in this uh, one hydrogen is removed let imagine students one hydrogen is removed so when it removed one hydrogen it becomes what a ch3 right so this is called a methyl what it is called a methyl because this is methane this is methane right and this is called a methyl right so minus h then what it gives that is called a alkyl group this already we discussed if this alkyl group is attached with the oh okay oh then it forms alcohol. What it forms? Alcohol function groups. Alkanol also we can say. Okay. So now here it becomes what? CH3OH. So what we can give? So this is, this part is methyl. This part is methyl. And this is alcohol. So we can also call this is methyl alcohol. What is called? Methyl alcohol. We can say that this is a methyl alcohol. Now, for example, what is the second member of this one? C2H6. This is the second member of alkene, C2H6. Now, from this, if you remove one hydrogen, what will get? C2H5, right? So, this is called ethyl. What it is called? Ethyl. Because this is ethane. This is what? Ethane. From the ethane, if you remove one hydrogen, we get what? Ethyl. Now, if we add OH here, so this becomes C2H5OH, right? So this is also known as ethyl alcohol. What it is called? Uh, ethyl alcohol. So we can name this one is a methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, propyl alcohol, butyl alcohol, pentyl alcohol. This also. But IUPAC, IUPAC name is what? IUPAC name. IUPAC name is what? Here one carbon is there. So one carbon is what? The myth, right? Uh? So myth. So from that meth methane, okay. So from that methane, methane, okay. So remove this uh, e, okay. Remove this e and add uh, all and add what all. So this becomes what the same name of this one becomes uh, 
methanol. What did it become, sir? Methanol. Methanol is a IUPAC name of this CH3OH. Okay, this methyl alcohol is also called it as, but IUPAC name is what? Methanol. Clear? Now, what is the name of this one? So, this is formed from the ethane. How many carbons are there? Two carbons. Two carbons is what? Eth and ane. Right? So, from this ethane, last letter drop E and add this is a functional group of all alcohol. So, just or all. Then it becomes what? Ethanol. What it becomes? Ethanol. Ethanol. Is this clear to you? So, ethyl alcohol is also called ethanol. Clear? So, like this, uh, this ethyl alcohol is also correct, but here we have to write IUPAC name. Okay? So, IUPAC name is ethanol. Right? So, IUPAC name of ethyl alcohol is ethanol and IUPAC name of methyl alcohol is methanol. Clear? Now, here you can see now, we are one table is there, see in the page number 58 and you can see in the page number 58, so many compounds are there, how to give the names, let us check now, okay. So, see students here, page number 38, sorry, 58, eh? so first one, CH3OH, this is given. So, what is the name of this one? So, see here, how many carbons are there? One carbon, so methane, okay. And what I said from the methane, just drop E and add all. So, this becomes what? Um, methanol. So, the name of this one is methanol. Can you see the page number 58? Okay, the box you can see. So, that is a methanol. Now, second one you see. Second one is what? CH3, CH2OH, right? Now, what is its name now? How many carbons are there? Two carbons are there. Two carbons with a single bond. So, that's what? Ethane, right? Eh? So, ethane. So, what I say? Drop E and add all. So, this becomes what? Uh, ethanol. What is this? Uh, ethanol, right? So, this is a uh, ethanol. Okay. Now, third one is senior material. So, third one is what? CH3, CH, CH3 and this is OH, right? So, here how many carbons are there? 1, 2, 3, okay? So, 3 carbons is what? Probe, correct? So, this is what? Probe, okay? And between the carbons, which bond is a single bond? So, N. But here OH is there, okay? So, what I said? So, drop E and add all, okay? Because this is a functional group, alcohol. So, you should add the suffix as a secondary suffix as all. So, this becomes what? The propanol. Okay, this becomes what? The propanol. Is this clear to you? Okay. So, there is a propanol. But here in the propanol, see here, one important thing you have to remember is, here, here you see the OH is attached to the last carbon. Of course, only one carbon is there. Here also OH is attached to the last carbon. But here, the OH is not attached to the last carbon, but is attached to the second carbon, okay. So, alcohol function group is attached to the second carbon. So, that is what, what you write. Uh, this is 2-propanol, okay. So, 2-propanol. Otherwise, you can write the propane, propane, okay. The alcohol is attached to the second carbon. So, write 2-all, like this also you can write 2-propanol or propane to all. So, anyone is better, no problem. Okay. So, propane to all is better. Did you understand how to give the name for alcoholic function groups? Okay. Now, go to the second, next one you see here, CH3, okay, CH2, CH, CH3 and it is given again, OH is given, right. So, see here now, first you see how many carbons are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, right. So, 4 is what, but, root word is what, but. Okay, and between all the carbons, which bond is a single bond? So, that is what alkene. So, write in. Okay, and here alcohol is given. Okay, alcohol is given. But alcohol is a functional group, we have to give the number. So, if you count 1, 2, 3, 4. So, for third carbon, alcohol is attached if you are counting from this one. And if you count from this one, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, for the second carbon is adding. So, what we should uh, do? 
So I have to take the lowest number, right? So then what you have to do, okay? So for second carbon, all is added, okay? So remove that two and write it to all. So then becomes what? Butane, butane, two, sorry, E not required here. Okay, butane, two, all. So the name of, name of this one is butane, two, all. Is this clear, students? Okay, so this naming is very important. So check once. Okay, all right. Now we go to the next one. Next one is uh, it's given like this CH three. Yes, C CH three CH three OH. Okay, so this is the uh, Compound is given, you need to write the name. Now, first, what we need to do, we need to check for the longest chain. Yes, the longest chain. So, if you see like this, only two carbons are there, one, two. But if you see like this, one, two, three, three carbons are there. Okay. So, three carbons is the longest chain, no other one. Even if you go like this, one, two, three, okay, the three chain. Okay. So, I will take this one in this one. So, I will name one, two, three. Okay. So, longest chain is three. So, the chain which consists of three carbons is what? Uh, probe, right? So, the root word is what? Probe. Okay? And between here, what? Which bonds are there? Single bonds are there? So, alkane. That is what? Propane. Okay? Now, for the second carbon, alcohol is there. For second carbon, alcohol is there. So, plus, uh, for second carbon, alcohol means oil, right? For the second carbon, here this side methyl is also there. So write uh, to methyl. Right? So when adding this all, uh, then what I said, just you remove this E, then write the full name. Okay. Now what happens? The name becomes to methyl propane. E is not required. Propane. Mm. Propane to all. So, this is the name of this compound. Once you check, how did I write? So, once you check clearly, clear? Okay. Now, similar compound is given in the next. What is given here? CH3. CH, CH2, OH, and it is given one CH3, right? So, here first what you need to do, longest chain, 1, 2, 3, this is the longest chain, so 3 is what? Probe, right? And here alcohol is there, so from here if we count 1, 2, 3, from here if we count 1, 2, 3, so we will give the first one, so propane, 1, all okay first carbon first carbon all is there but here if you see one two three for second carbon methyl is there so we can write uh, two methyl propane one all okay so just simply even if it is one is there you need not write uh, just even you can write uh, two methyl propane all also you can write okay if one is there it's Especially, it's not need not to mention. If you mention, that's better. But if it is not, then no problem, right? So this is the compounds. Okay, students. So this is about the alcohol. Some other compounds out there you can practice here. Acha. With the double bond and triple bond is also there. We'll check now that also from the page number fifty-nine. So there's a compound called uh, CH two double bond. OH. Okay. Now, what is the name of this one? So, here how many carbons are there? Two carbons. Okay. So, two carbons root word is what? It. And between two carbons, which bond is there? Double bond. So, double bond is what? Alkenes. So, write in. Ethene. 
But here we are last. What is there? OH is added. OH is nothing but alcohol. So alcohol means water. OH, right? So when you add this, then what I said, just remove the E and write the name. So this becomes what ethene all. That's all. Ethenol. Okay. Because as there is a double bond, as there is a double bond, ethene will come. Okay. If a triple bond is there, you think? For example, uh, with a, let's see with a triple bond also. Uh, you can see the triple bond where it is. Okay. See the one, two, three, fourth one. You see. Okay. The fourth one, what do you see in your material? Fourth one, CH, triple bond, C, CH2, OH, right? So, this is there. Third one, you see. So, now you see here, what is the name of this one? So, first you check how many root word, means how many carbons are there? One, two, three carbons. So, three carbons is what? Probe. Three carbons is what? Probe, okay? Now, here in this uh, triple, in this uh, three carbon, there is one triple bond is also there. Okay. When there is a triple bond, this comes to what? Comes out to what? Alkynes. Alkynes. So, this is ion propyne. Okay. Propyne. Right? Uh? That is propyne. Okay. Now, we want uh, the alcohol. This which is also there. So, which is what? Alcohol plus all. Right? So, now what the name it becomes, so when I write the name, you cut it, so then you write uh, propyneol, okay, what you can write, uh, propyneol, okay, so propyneol, but in the propyneol, uh, here you see, if you give the number 1, 2, 3, so for 1, okay, alcohol is there, but here triple bond is present to which carbon here between second and 3, okay, for second carbon triple bond is there, so you have to mention that, okay, prop. Uh, Okay, two in one all. So this is an accurate name. Correct name is what? Propyne. Proper two in one all. Okay, prop means what? Three carbons. One, two, three. Two in means what? Second carbon. In means what? A triple bond. One all means what? One all. Now remaining, if we complete it, CH becomes CH. Yeah, nothing is required. Here two bonds are this, so CH2 over. So like this, even by the name is given, you can write the compound structure also. So this is about the alcohols. Okay. So this is about the nomenclature of compounds containing the functional groups. In that first one is alcohol. So so many examples we discuss about the alcohols, right? So these are all you practice terms. These are all alcohols only, right? So, this is alcohol. The first one is alcohol is done. Now, second one. You can see the second one, ether. Okay. Ether. Ether means what a general formula is R O R. R O R dash. Sometimes it may be R O R also. So, what is the difference between RO, R and RO, R dash is? For example, R means what? Alkyl group. I can write like this CH3. This is one R, alkyl. O. And I can write this C2H5. This is also alkyl only. But here one carbon is there, one two carbons is there. Two are different. So, that is what I am writing RO, R. Sometimes it may be same CH3, O, CH3. So, both the sides C methyl, methyl. Otherwise, C2H5, O, C2H5. So, same, right? This side, this side, same with the oxygen. Here, what happens in the middle oxygen? Here, this may be different. For example, C2H5 and C3H7, like this, okay? So, here, this is called ethers, okay? So, ether compound um, containing RO, R dash, RO, R dash. Here R stands for alkyl. R and R dash are different eh? alkyl groups. Right? So, here the general formula is what? Uh, general formula is uh, CNH2N plus 2O. Okay? So, this is a general formula. And uh, the IUPAC name of the alkynes, uh, sorry, ethers will be alkoxy alkane. Okay? So, IUPAC name, IUPAC name.
Okay, IU pack name. Alkoxy. Alkene. So here is the alk, oxy, alkene. Okay. So if I want to give the name to this one, how many carbons are there? One carbon is here, right? So one carbon is there. So one carbon is what? The meth. Okay. So this is alk. And here what is there? Oxy. Oxy. Yes, C2H5. So C2H5 is what? C2 carbons is what? Ethane, right? So the name of this one is methoxy methane. Sorry, methoxy ethane. What is this one? Methoxy ethane. Okay, methoxy ethane. Okay, so this is the name of this one. Now, for example, you see here you see here this is one carbon, so this is meth. Right? Here in between oxygen is there, so oxy. And here what is there? Again, one carbon, meth. So methane. So the name of this one is a methoxy methane. What is the name of this one is? Methoxy methane. Clear to you? Okay. Now, for example, I want to give the name to this one. How many carbons are there? Two carbons. Two carbons means what? It. Okay. And what is here? Oxy. Okay. And here how many carbons are there? Three carbons. So, three is what? A prop. So, propane. So, the IUPAC name of this one is what? Ethoxy. Ethoxy propane. Right. Now, what is the name of this one? How many carbons? It. Two carbons. It. And what is there? Oxy. This again two carbons. Ethane. So, the name of this one is what? Ethoxy ethane. Clear students? So, like this you can write the names of the ethers. Okay. So, with this we stop today. And in the next class we discuss about the aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid derivatives also there. So, these derivatives. Okay. And so many things are there. Cyanides and isocyanides. Eh? This all we will discuss in coming classes. Okay. So, with this we stop. And today you practice. Once again, you practice the third synopsis, a simple hydrocarbons nomenclature, uh, and then today is also like alcohols and ethers. Okay, almost all the examples I discussed. So you practice all this, uh, this one. Okay, so this is stuff. Bye. Take care.